What's going on guys? King Raven here coming at you with another video today. So today I want to do my Spin Acre watch collection video, but I want to put a little twist on how I do the uh, collection video. We'll see in a moment. But before we get into the watch collection, let's do a quick wrist check. I'm wearing the Phoebus or Phobus, however you want to say it. Voyager 2.0. This is the brown sunburst dial. Beautiful watch. Love it. Love that bezel on the Voyager 2.0. They just came out with some new colors and everything that are coming soon on their website. Uh, it's a great watch. If you don't have a uh, Phoebus, the Voyager 2.0 is a great one, in my opinion. So, let's flip this camera around, check out my Spin Acre watch collection, and a little twist to it. Okay, guys. So, this is my Spin Acre watch collection. And we're going to talk about each one of these five watches. But the twist I'm going to put on it is I'm going to pair each one of the watches with a knife from my collection. If y'all follow me on Instagram, you know I like to do uh, watch and knife pairings and different EDC pairings. So, I thought this would be a little fun. Not only to be able to show the uh, watches in my Spin Acre uh, watch collection, but also a knife that I might pair with it on a daily basis if I was wearing this watch. So, let's start off with this one over here. This is the Spin Acre Dumas, okay? This is the gray dial with the orange pops, as you can see. This normally comes on a mesh bracelet, but the mesh bracelet was just way too long for my wrist, so I got this strap code hexagon style bracelet, and I love it. It fits that case excellent, if you see. I think it fits great. You would almost never tell that it was an aftermarket bracelet. So, it fits excellent up in there. Screw pins, love it. So, it's a great bracelet. Uh, the watch does have an exhibition case back. And you can see the Spin Acre uh, little um, rotor, or whatever you want to call it, weight. So, this is the Spin Acre Dumas in gray on a strap code hexagon bracelet. Now, if I was wearing this Spin Acre, I would pair it with my Spyderco Shaman that is all stonewashed titanium. So we've got a stonewashed gray here, uh, blade in XHP, titanium stonewashed, Scales, MXG, Stonewash Deep Carry Pocket Clip, Stonewash Backspacer. So this is all gray stonewashed. And then this is a gray and orange watch. So I would pair something like this if I was wearing this watch. Okay. Next watch we have is another Dumas. This is a newer version of the Dumas. You could say this is a Dumas 2.0. So they switch from the factory from coming on a mesh, me, the mesh bracelet to this is an actual factory bracelet. And as you can see, they went with a very similar hexagon style bracelet, just like I had chosen from Strap Code. Okay. So, this is a factory Spin Acre bracelet, and it's very similar to the others, but this is the Tangerine Dial uh, Spin Acre Dumas with the light blue accent pops, as you can see as we look close at that dial. Nice. I love the Dumas. It's a great uh, watch. It's got all those angles so that it's almost like, in my opinion, Spin Acre's version of the 
Samurai because Samurai is a very angular case watch and the Dumas is a very angular case watch. So with this tangerine dial Dumas on the factory hexagon bracelet, I would pair it with something like my Hinder XM18 3.5 inch non-flipper Spanto with the orange G10 and then the uh, satin, stonewash, whatever you want to call it, finish on the titanium side. So, as you can see, we're uh, doing sort of like a combination of the colors as well as the silver. So, this is something that I would sort of pair with this tangerine Dumas would be this Hinder XM18 non-flipper Spanto. Now, this watch is my Spinnaker Bradner, okay? Now, this is, uh, I believe they call it Pacific Blue, okay? The, the Bradner is the Spinnaker's compressor style watch so you have a internal bi-directional bezel that's controlled with this top one now it is not screwed down as you can see it's just free so uh it really if you were diving with it this could get knocked too easily in my opinion it's more for uh, the aesthetic of the uh, compressor style, but in everyday use, you can easily use it to time something. If you wanted to time something for 10 minutes or however long, you could easily time with this internal rotating bezel. So that is a cool feature. It has a beautiful beads of rice bracelet great bracelet and everything awesome exhibition case back just like the Dumas nice don't um uh sort of like rounded up to the actual sapphire love it okay Spinnaker Bradner all right and what I would pair sort of like with the Bradner would be my Spartan Harzy St. Michael's Edition folder, okay? I would do this because it's got a lot of this silver and brush tones, as well as the blue is popping with the blue accents of the actual Spartan Harzy folder, so whether you're looking at it from this side or the different hardware uh, internals, that little pops of blue, I think, contrasts great with the uh, blue and the silver with the watch. So, this is something that I would pair with the Bradner, is my Spartan Harzy folder. Okay. Now, with this one, this is the Spinnaker Long Island Watch Collaboration Fluce. Hold on one second. Got a little thing on the watch. Okay. Now, this is the Spinnaker Long Island Watch Collaboration Fluce. I love the shape of the fluce. Fluce has a beautiful design to it. It's very... Where it, the Dumas is more angular. This is much more fluid, uh, much more curvy to it. And one thing with the Long Island Watch Collaboration is this is one of the only fluces with no date. Okay, so this is a true no date. You have the Arabic set to 12, 3, 6, and 9. You've got the light blue pops of Islander blue on the second hand, on the writing, and right above the numbers, 
you see there's little pops of blue all over this particular watch and I love that and everything this it the bezel is like a black but the dial is actually a like a sunburst gray it's not a true black it's like a gunmetal sunburst gray so it's uh I think the styling of it he did make a cream style collaboration I went with the gray because this is the one that I prefer Beautiful bracelet, more of an H-link style bracelet. Great watch. It wears very well. This one does not have an exhibition case back. It's got the Islander uh, or Long Island watch logo as well as the Spinnaker logo on the case back. So something that I would pair with the Fluce would be my XM18 No Troll Skinny Slicer with the black blue G10 scales. So you've got that sort of satin stone wash finish on the titanium. You've got the black blue scales on the G10 to coordinate some of the black and the blue. And then you've got the No Choice Slicer Blade. It's a skinnier version of the XM18. So it fits really well. This is a more, this is more curvy, uh, streamlined type watch. And this is definitely a more slimmer, streamer line type hinder, if that makes sense. I love this knife. This goes great with this fluce, in my opinion. So that's a watch knife pairing that I would do with the Long Island Watch Spinnaker Collaboration Fluce. And last is the Spinnaker Croft. Okay. This Croft came on a leather uh, strap, okay? I'm not big on leather straps. I have a couple, but I prefer bracelets mostly. So this is another strap code bracelet that I've found. This is more like a uh, Super Boyer O style bracelet. Okay, This does have the exhibition case back. You can see the Spinnaker rotor. Now, with this, this has the small seconds hand at sort of like the 430 position, gilt uh, indices and hands with the red bezel. So, the black dial, the gilt, the red bezel, this sort of does that little itch for the, the black bay for me because I surely cannot afford a black bay. So this Spinnaker Croft placed on this strap code bracelet sort of gives that black bay itch for me and everything. So I really enjoy this Croft. It's one of my favorite Spinnakers, especially once I put it on this uh, strap code bracelet. Alright, and something that I would pair with the Croft would be the Finch Knives Holiday, okay? This is in black micarta. Really simple, elegant style, bolster lock, clean lines. I think it goes great with the lines of the Croft. Okay, so we're looking, I'm playing off the black dial with the black micarta. And, of course, the silver with the bracelet and the bolsters. So, this is sort of my Spinnaker watch collection with knives that I would sort of pair with them. So, you sort of get an idea of what I uh, think about and what I go through when I do my different 
uh, watch and knife pairings like you would see on my Instagram post and what I carry on a daily basis. I pay attention to this because it's just something that I enjoy to do. So when I'm picking out my uh, watch in the morning, I'm thinking about what knife I'm going to go with that watch as I, my daily carry for that day. Spinnaker Dumas Grey Dial on the Strap Coat Hexagon Bracelet with the Spider Coat Shaman Full Stone Wash Stone Wash Titanium Titanium Handles. Spinnaker Dumas Tangerine Dial with the Hinder XM18 no, uh, Non Flipper Spanto. Spinnaker Bradner with the Spartan Blade Spartan Harzy Folder. Spinnaker Long Island Watch Collaboration Fluce with the Hinder XM18 Skinny No Tool Slicer and then the Spinnaker Croft with the Strap Code Super Boyer O Style Bracelet with the Finch Holiday in Black Micarta. Let's flip this camera around and we'll wrap up this collection and knife pairing video. Okay guys, so what did you think about my Spinnaker watch collection as well as my knife pairings? Like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you see I do this a lot. Like today's Instagram will be the Voyager 2.0 brown dial along with my Hinder Eclipse in the FDE and bronze so that's the sort of combo that i went with for my watch and knife today so is that something that you enjoy doing do you like to put together combos or do you just grab whatever knife do you have a watch that you always wear i would love to know let me know in the comments i love to do these different pairings i like to rotate through my knives and through my watches. So I'm not carrying the same thing day in, day out and everything. I like a little bit of variety. Plus, I'm carrying a lot of knives and uh, different watches that I'm doing reviews on as well. So if you'd like to see more of this style of videos, let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback. I'm going to link a video that I think you might like, as well as the Shield Arms watermark. Just click on that and you'll automatically be subscribed. Y'all follow me on Instagram and you'll see more of these pairings. That's at Shield Arms. Y'all be safe out there. I'm King Raven and I'll catch you in the next video.